The life of late Dr. Michael Waldwein is a history worth marking and celebrating. Dr. Wal passed on on the 1st of January 2013 at the Nairobi Hospital after a courageous and long battle with cancer. Dr. Wal was married to Professor Julia Kerdwein, daughter of Benjamin Bill Lual. Born in the Dor village in central Nuer in 1933, Honorable Dr. Dwayne hails from the family of Wunbil, Urom, from the Lawnwear section of Galiek, from Buang Payam, Akowa County. Dr. Michael Wal joined Wangdel Mission Elementary School in 1948 under the former Central Nuer Fangak district of former Upper Nile Province, presently Fangak County, Jongle State. He then joined the Atar Intermediate School in 1952. In 1955, he was imprisoned as a teenager for resisting the oppressive regime in Khartoum for closing the schools run by the churches and expelling the missionaries from the south. He also engaged in the protest on the mistreatment of the educators in the south. He was the youngest among five South Sudanese taken to Sewakin near Port Sudan for hard labor in prison. After four years of hard labor, they were released as a result of the independence of the Sudan in 1956. Michael Wall joined the American Commercial High School in 1958 with the late Peter Gatkoth, Honorable John Chol Ray, and late Honorable Stephen Cheshlam in Omdurman, Sudan. Due to lack of newer children access to education, the scholarships were provided by the Presbyterian Church in the USA to attend the American Commercial High School in Omdurman, and in 1962, they all graduated with high school diplomas. These scholarships were provided through the generosity of the American people who saw education as important for Christian children in South Sudan. His educational development became a reality. He became one of the newer pioneers to obtain a PhD. Late Michael Wall had all higher education in the United States of America. Bachelors of Arts in Political Sciences from Syracuse University, New York. Masters in Political Sciences from Buffalo State University, New York. Masters in Public Administration from Indiana University, USA. PhD in Political Sciences with focus on constitutional order from Indiana University, USA. His thesis was titled, Neither Palaces Nor Prisons, Constitutional Order Among the Nuer. He also wrote extensively on development issues in developing countries. After graduating from high school, Honorable Dr. Waldwein worked for some time with the Christian Literature Center in Khartoum before joining the struggle in the 1960s. In 1963, he joined the Ajanya as secretary to Honorable Philip Pedak Leth, the representative of the South Sudan Liberation Movement, SSLM, in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, covering the Horn of Africa, Middle East, and Asian countries. He was employed by a Christian radio, Voice of the Gospel, and he used his income to maintain the movement's office in Addis Ababa. Honorable Dr. Dwayne was passionate to bringing peace to the people of the Sudan and lived his life with integrity, honesty, and earned the respect of his colleagues and community. In 1968, he served as a representative of Anyanya movement in North America and Israel. He was the first of Anyanya representatives to visit and seek the support of Israel, which led to strengthening the Anyanya forces in the 1963-1972 under General Joseph Lago Yanga. He participated in the Roundtable Conference in 1956 and Addis Ababa Peace Talks in 1972, respectively, as a Nyanya representative for the United States, Canada and Israel. In 1972, he became the first Minister of Cabinet Affairs in the High Executive Council under the leadership of Elder Abir Ali Erkwai, representing the people of Akobo District constituency. In 1972-1983, he represented the Kobo district in numerous occasions during the High Executive Council as well as the National Parliament in Sudan and South Sudan Legislative Assembly of the Government of South Sudan 
in 2005 during the CPA. He became controller of the August House High Executive Council representing the unity grouping, advocating that united South Sudan is better off than a divided one. 1973, he became the chairman of the Regional Development Corporation. He worked hard to make sure that RDC becomes financially independent through building local businesses. By 1976, RDC achieved its goals of financial independence with over 500 employees, over 5,000 businesses established all over South Sudan and with one insurance company based in Juba with branches in Wau and Malakal towns. All other southern industries were reconstructed. Yerul Oil Mill, a gog fruit company in Wau, Toinkinaf Company in Toink District, Anzara Cotton Farm and Textile Factory, a will rice scheme, YAT Tobacco and Coffee Farm in Watoka, Kitri Tea and Coffee Farm, Cement Factory in Kapoita, and Boatyard Factory in Juba to support fishing industry and establish food stalls for food security in major towns all over South Sudan. The RDC also established a transport company where best government employee drivers were given trucks to start their own businesses. These companies later took over transport industry that was controlled by Northern Sudanese. 1983, during the political unrest and redivision of the South, Michael Wall served as Minister of Finance in Malakal, Apanai region and secured 20 million of development contracts with the USAID for building infrastructure in Malakal town. A year later, disappointed over corrupt practices, he resigned. He was awarded a scholarship by the United States Agency for International Development to study at Indiana University, USA. Peace activities. 1983, he initiated the meeting between Dr. John Garang and Dr. Ryagmashar that led to the Washington Conference between the SPLM Mainstream and SPLMA United. This led to Washington Declaration. That document became the basis for negotiating the Comprehensive Peace Agreement under the Intergovernmental Agency for Development in 2005. In 1995, Dr. Wal Duang and Dr. Bill Lowry initiated grassroots peace process. Dr. Wal Duang chaired the Peace and Reconciliation Conference between Jikang and Lonewear in Okobo. It was later known as the People to People Peace Process led by the New Sudan Council of Churches in the liberated areas of South Sudan. 1999, Honorable Dr. Wal Duang and Dr. Bill Lowry initiated the grassroots peace processes and both became members of the Rapporteur team, which administrated the Wounded Peace Process together with Dr. Peter Yotko and Honorable Lola Chil. Wounded Peace became one of the successful grassroots peace processes in Sudan and worldwide. In 1995, together with his wife, co-founded the South Sudan Friends International in Bloomington, Indiana, USA, an NGO working with communities in South Sudan to improve livelihood and grassroots peace processes. 2000 to 2005, he chaired and co-founded the South Sudan Liberation Movement and revived the Anyanya movement as a commander-in-chief of the South Sudan Liberation Army with focus on self-determination. In 2001, chaired and co-founded the South Sudan Democratic Forum after disappointment and disagreement with the party's leadership in 2012, Dr. Wall became an independent politician and continued to advocate for creation of political space that is tolerant and a strengthening of political parties' collusion, which he chaired since 2008. It became the South Sudan Dialogue. He participated in the making of the interim constitution of South Sudan as a member of the national parliament in 2005 representing South Sudan Democratic Forum, Upper Nile Region, as well as the Southern Legislative Assembly. Honorable Dr. Wal Duang was a devout Christian, faithful husband and father, trusted friend, insightful author, peace activist, intellectual, educator, and an exemplary leader. 
Honorable Dr. Wal Duan is survived by his wife, Professor Julia Kier Duan, and five children, sons Duan Mai, Kueth Mai, and his wife, Aparel and Bill Mai, daughters Dr. Nyagun Mai and her husband, Dr. Kuaudwo Amankwa, Nok Mai and her husband, General Toba Basi, seven grandchildren, Emmanuel Mal, Jinai Amaya, Sade Nyajal, Mai Bella, Basi Basi, Ya Aker, and Dina Yao. Brothers, Laid Ker Duang, Samuel Tabak Duang, Laid Kok Duang, Laid Gabriel Duang, and their children. Sisters, Laid Yan Yude Duang, Laid Nyagong Duang, Laid Nyalwal Duang, and their children. The family thanks the people of South Sudan and all of his friends around the world for the outpouring of support in our time of grief. South Sudan has lost an excellent economist and a developmental-minded son. We wish to continue his legacy for a better South Sudan. May his soul continue to rest in peace. <laughs>